Hi everyone! Three months ago I embarked on a sample challenge where I tried to use up all of my foil packets. At that time I still had 182 foil packets left in my collection, but I diligently went about trying to finish them all in the past three months, that's June, July, and August, and now that we're in September I am here to report back on how I did. I did very well, but I didn't succeed in finishing them all, so let's go ahead and run through all of the numbers. Now I did keep pretty meticulous records, but I still have have two samples that are unaccounted for. If you add up the numbers that I'm going to be sharing with you today, you'll see that two samples are missing. I have looked everywhere for these samples and I have no idea where they are. So I don't know if I use them up, if they are unopened, or if they're currently in use. I'm going to give you all of the numbers right now and then talk you through a little bit of the details, things that I noticed, etc. when I was doing the sample challenge. In total, I used up 147 samples, so that's not too shabby, that's about 80% of my total Total, which was 182 going into this challenge. I have seven foil packets that are currently in use. I have two samples that I decided not to finish and just to discard because they didn't suit me, and I have 24 samples remaining in my collection. Again, this only adds up to 180 because I lost track of two of the samples. I am currently holding up three baggies containing 147 empty foil packets. I used up the majority of the foil packets in the first month, and that was in June. I flew through these samples because they were rather easy to use up. A lot of them were shampoos, body moisturizers, um, facial serums. I also used up a lot of nail polish remover wipes and that sort of thing. So this was extremely easy. In June, I finished up 83 samples and I thought, you know what, I'm going to be done this challenge in no time. It's not going to take me three months to go through all of these samples. But then I found in July that my usage of samples actually dropped off significantly because I had used up all of the ones that were easy to use up. In July, I only used up 37 foil packets. These are things like conditioners, face masks, foundations. But these categories were taking a lot longer to use up, so that's why I only had 37 empty foil packets in the month of July. Now moving to the month of August, the most recent complete month, I finished up 27 foil packets and again it just tapered off a little bit because I was left with samples that were a little bit more difficult to use up. In terms of the two samples that I decided to let go of, both of these were lip products. I used this one only once and I used this one a number of times. These products just didn't suit me. I didn't really like the shade of the sample. I thought it was okay, but there's really no occasion for me to wear it. It's kind of like a dark vampy metallic shade that is really pretty, but I just don't see myself wearing this. I have other lip products that I want to use instead, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to that sample, even though I only used it once. And then this sample here, I did like the color, but I found it dried out my lips, so I decided to go ahead and say goodbye to that one as well. These are the samples that are currently in use. I have a variety of different hair products. I've got a scrub, and I have one Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Sin, which is the sparkly one. So that one I've actually been mixing in with my foundation. I'm also using these two lip products which I really like. They're basically nude shades and I've been mixing these two together to create a My Lips But Better type shade. Here is what I have remaining. These are the 24 samples that I have left. I've got two face masks. For whatever reason, Hubby and I always forget to use these. Hubby and I wanted to use these together. We bought four of them in Japan and we were going to use them on two occasions. We ended up using two of them finally but we still have two remaining. So hopefully at some point in the very near future we will go ahead and use these. As well we didn't use our foot masks and I didn't use this dry hands rescue. So again I'll have to get better at um, doing these types of treatments. I had so many of these eyeshadow primer potions and I have one remaining. This one is also the sparkly one so I will be mixing it in with my foundation but I'm really liking it for a luminous glow. I've got some hair products left over I've got some smoothing creams and kind of like styling products. I think I have three of those types of products left and then I also have two of the hair masks or hair oils which I haven't used at all. I've got two conditioners left including one that I just opened. I don't use the conditioner on my hair. I actually use it as like a shaving cream type product. I find it really nice. It makes my skin feel really soft and smooth and gives me a nice close shave. So that's how I like to use conditioner. 
I've still got a few face scrubs and peels left over. I didn't use either of the Dr. Dennis Gross products, but I plan to use those soon. And as well, I still have a um, exfoliating powder from Vosha. Finally, the last products I have left, I have a lot of these, are lip products. These are very difficult to use up because they take a long time to finish. I use just a little bit each day, but still I've got so many left. I did use up a number of them, but um, it's gonna take me a while to finish what I have left in my collection. So that is basically it for my sample challenge. I thought I did pretty well. I'm gonna be moving on to minis pretty soon. I don't know when I'm gonna start that challenge or if I'm gonna do an official challenge but that's what I plan to tackle next. If you were doing a sample challenge of your own, please let me know down below how you did. I would love to hear about your results and whether you got through your collection. Thank you all so much for watching this video and for your patience as I worked through my samples for the last three months. It was a lot of fun and I'm glad I am down to just a couple dozen samples left in my collection. It feels much more manageable even though I know it's going to take me some time to use up the lip products and um, the hair treatments and things of that nature. Thank you again for watching this video. I will be back very soon with another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.